55th wing at Offutt Air Force Base employs more than 5,000 people, but its two mile long runway is in terrible shape. Governor Pete Ricketts and Nebraska's three congressmen came together to announce a task force to change the crumbling pavement. Reporter Nick Starling has details on what chances it has of getting replaced. This is what the runway looks like at Offutt Air Force Base. Chip concrete and cracks across the runway. As a result, political leaders in Nebraska and Washington formed a task force to look at making permanent repairs so the 55th Wing mission stays at Offutt. Coordinate our efforts to make sure we can continue to get the investment we need in the base and in the runway so that we can continue that mission that is important to our national defense. Governor P. Ricketts says Offutt is vital to the state. It pumps more than a billion dollars into the local economy. It also provides more than 10,000 jobs, over half of those from the 55th Wing. Congressman Jeff Fortenberry says the task force job is to provide oversight and partnership with the Defense Department so this critical runway gets fixed. The position that Offutt and Strategic Command have as an essential component of American security is um, a very, I believe, a very high priority for the Defense Department. Fortenberry says design plans are already in place, which he hopes is a sign the Pentagon will pay for this massive project. When you have a design contract, it is a very strong indicator that that has a high priority in the Air Force's budget for uh, construction. That design process will take $7.5 million in itself. Fortenberry says the question remains whether the entire runway will be replaced or just parts of it. Congressman Brad Ashford says he and his fellow Nebraska congressmen are working together almost daily on the runway issue. It is critical that to the mission as we move forward as a member of the Armed Services Committee that our intelligence efforts be supported uh, as they are at, at office. That was Nick Starling reporting. Congressman Fortenberry hopes a decision comes this year and repairs can begin in 2017 or 2018. Now, the total cost of the runway renovation, about $125 million. Both U.S. Senators Deb Fisher and Ben Sass support fixing the runway.